Uh, so now that you are Miss USA, you're a part of the Trump Organization. Yeah, he's my boss. Exactly. <laughs> What's it like uh, being around that marketing genius that is the Donald Trump Organization? We seldom see him, but huh? every time he comes into the office or we go over to his office, mm -hmm. um, I try and learn as much as I can from him. Um, yes, he is such a marketing business tycoon in New York City and the world. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it's a blessing to have him as a boss, and um, I'm just living this year out and hopefully making the connections through him that I need to for the rest of my life. Great. Now, you touched on before you were an athlete in college, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly, All-American Volleyball at UCLA. Yeah. Made it to the Final Four once. Once, Once, yes. okay. That's yes. great. And then, so, but you've made it to the Final Four once, didn't quite get that national championship ring. So close. So close, right? <laughs> but and then you competed in some other beauty contests in California. Mm -hmm. I think at the your pinnacle, maybe finishing as high as second. Yes, again. Fast right. forward to Miss USA, yeah. you finished second. Yeah. So did you feel a bit like Sisyphus ever, and just knowing that you couldn't quite get that boulder to the top of the mountain? And how did you? How do you? What what advice do you have for people who just can't quite get there, and right. they finally make it happen? At the state level, luckily you can compete over and over again until you age out. The mm -hmm. last age you can compete at is, I believe, 26. Okay. So with the state level, I always knew I could come back and I could always take what I learned from last year and apply it mm -hmm. to my competition the following year. Um, at the national level, you have one shot. Right. <laughs> so um, it was all or nothing for me. I put it out on that stage. Um, my final night, I don't think I would have changed anything about my performance. Mm -hmm. And that's why I left with things happen for a reason, and they did, because out of nowhere, Olivia won, and mm -hmm. now I'm Miss USA. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it was hard being, you know, your doors being closed, and you do get a lot of, um, especially with social media and the mm -hmm. internet, and blogging, you get all these negative comments sure. just appear on your screen, like, what is she doing, she should quit, like, if I had quit, though, I would never have been Miss USA. So. Uh, I, I love when people are critical unnecessarily <laughs> yeah. behind the behind the veil that is yeah. social media. It's, exactly. it's unbelievable. You're trying your thing. You right. know, it's like don't tell me to quit. Exactly. You know? And that was very tough for me, um, mm -hmm. having the confidence to go back sure. in the face of people saying such negative things about mm -hmm. me. But um, I'm glad I did, and I'm glad I had the support system of my mom mm -hmm. and my friends, um, because I wouldn't be Miss USA if I never Absolutely. kept going. That, that's that sort of uh, athletic word that isn't really a word, that stick to it Yeah. As so, no, ma as so, many, co as so many coaches I make like up that, that stick to it Like, it. is that hyphenated? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we've seen you around a lot of events, namely actually we have a photo here of you and Waka Flocka yeah, and then great. also you when you were actually at the, yeah. uh, at the ceremony where you, you know, did the media for Miss right, USA. Right. Um, the Waka Flocka photo was actually taken at a mutual friend, friend of ours event, yeah. uh, Lorenzo Borghese, who right. has Animal Aid USA. Um, are you close to that cause? I am. I got to attend his event. Mm -hmm. First of all, he's so smart, he's mm -hmm. handsome, he was a former bachelor, mm -hmm. um, so I'm always willing to support him and his cause. Mm -hmm. He oh. still is a bachelor technically, oh, yeah. ladies. Technically. He's just no longer a bachelor on ABC. <laughs> exactly. So just for, just for clarification, go. Lorenzo, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Now, and so charity is obviously important to you, and you've recently started the Meriwether Foundation. Yeah. Can you tell us more about that? With the, and you started that with your mother, I believe. Yes, okay. I did. My mom was born and raised in South Africa, mm -hmm. and um, she didn't have a lot of opportunities growing up because it was during the time of apartheid. Luckily, she got a United Nations grant to come study in the States, where she met my father, mm -hmm. and they got married. And um, they moved to South Africa in the early 1980s to give one year of community service. And my dad was a doctor, so he'd work in the hospitals while my mom worked with women in the village. Um, they ended up staying eight years. <laughs> and wow. I was born there. Okay. <laughs> and so were my, my sister and my brother. Okay. Um, and then we moved back to the States. This is where I grew up. When did you move back? How old were you? Um, I was three. Okay. And I grew up in the D.C. area. And all throughout my life, we would travel back and give back to the most rural, poorest villages um, in Southern Africa. But in 2006, my mom and I decided to co-found a nonprofit called the Meriwether Foundation. And we are now in five countries. Okay. Um, we've started clinics. We've opened schools. Mm -hmm. um, we've started HIV, AIDS education, and um, medical projects. Mm -hmm. um, we started agricultural projects. We're just uh, very much a part of the infrastructure of the villages we choose to help. Okay. And these villages are, as I said, the most poor, the most neediest villages and people. So it's amazing to give back. My mom's there right now and okay. um, checking on our schools and curriculum. Awesome. And 
she'll email me and we'll talk. And meanwhile, I'm at an event. And right. it's, I live many <laughs> lives throughout my day, but it's, it's a blessing to give back. Because you think you're helping people, but the love you receive back, is, is it's, you can't explain it. It's, it's something I'll do the rest of my life. And is there a URL or some way that uh, our yeah. viewers can actually potentially help you out? Yeah, we uh, update our Facebook very frequently. Mm -hmm. It's just facebook.com slash Meriwether Foundation. Okay. And we also have meriwetherfoundation.org. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. And there's a uh, link on site to where they yes. can give? Okay, yes. wonderful. You can Looks just great. donate right on the website. <laughs> right, right on the website. <laughs> um, well, we were uh, talking about how busy you are and how you lead many lives. And yeah. you know, this was the first weekend that you had a chance to actually Get some rest. Yeah. And you chose not to enjoy your life, which is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. But once you do get a chance to actually take a lengthy breather and take a vacation, yeah. where do you see yourself going? Where's your ultimate destination well, to go enjoy? A week after I give up my crown, I'm going to the Bahamas. Great. Right. <laughs> I have a great group of friends in New York, and it's kind of become a tradition. Every summer, we'll take a trip to the Bahamas. So okay. I'm very excited for that. Um, is that Nassau or where? Um, there's a private island called okay. Baker's Bay. Okay. And luckily, my friends. I have a house there, nice. so <laughs> thanks, friends. <laughs> Another I'll plug. See you there. Another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. They you do activities. You can go fishing. You can just go lay on the beach. It's, you can golf. Mm -hmm. I pretend I know how to golf. Okay, you pretend stuff. that. Yes. And what do you end up shooting? I actually, in this pretend game of I golf. Can, I can hit it really, really far. Okay. I think it's something my volleyball swing, or maybe I, I know how to be aggressive mm -hmm. when it comes to sports, but I don't know how to make it go where I want to. But I guess that's Fair like enough. golf. You well, never know unless my, you're like... I, w I went to college <laughs> to play, and one of the things my uncle used to teach me, golf simple. It's two Ds, distance and direction. So you have the one D. I have distance. You have the I'll distance. You just got to figure out the direction. And then it's that yeah, simple. It's, yeah. really, it's really that easy. Yeah. Now, speaking of sports, mm -hmm. uh, you were at Super Bowl. I was. Baltimore Ravens were yeah. not only in the Super Bowl, but they won. Yeah. So Maryland so, had a USA mm -hmm. and a Super Bowl winner. Yes. So go Maryland. Yes. So are you fans of the Ravens? I or, am. Okay. Are they your team or what? No. What? Who's Sorry, your? Sorry, I okay. like the Ravens too. That's, right. That's all right. Um, I become just living in New York. Mm -hmm. New Yorkers love their sports and they love their teams. Mm -hmm. I've just been. Um, coaxed into being a Giants fan. So oh, that's unfortunate. I'm a Giants fan. I think but, the interview's uh, over. I'm a, Red Skin, I'm a Redskins fan. Oh, but, you know, and raised okay. in New Jersey, which is in, interesting <laughs> well, I enough. I guess we switched yeah, to We, we kind of did. We, we, exactly, exactly. Funny. I switched for, for many other reasons. <laughs> yeah. uh, and so um, now with Trump, they have obviously so many different divisions, but they also have Trump model management, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, run by Corey Nicholas, an old friend of mine. She oh, actually yeah. is my old boss. Great. Um, are you actually looking at being represented by them? Are you represented by them? Well, with the title of Miss USA, you meet so many people and mm -hmm. you get so many opportunities and connections. Um, yeah, I've been talking to them. Nothing's official yet, but mm -hmm. definitely modeling. It's great to be in New York City. There's so many markets, even in my old age. I can still find a market to work with, sure. and they're such a great organization, so sure. we'll see. And what, what, where can we see you next? What are your plans after Miss USA? My ideal life would be six months in LA, six months in New York. Okay. Um, I definitely still have, I studied uh, postgraduate work in, um, at USC in pre-medical sciences, so I could do med school, mm -hmm. um, except the entertainment business, I may try. It's calling. Try. I don't know, <laughs> it's I may calling. try, because you can always go back to school. You can. Kids, stay in stay school. school. Stay <laughs> I feel like we're doing a Save by the yeah. Bell PSA. Stay, <laughs> stay in school, school. <laughs> don't do drugs. Yeah, exactly. But I, did, I finished my undergrad and I did postgraduate work. It's just my after, it's after all college and all that. But finish college first. Well, great. Well, thank you very much for coming this afternoon. We appreciate it. Thank it was you. a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Thank so you very nice. much for your time. Thank yeah. you, guys.